I wake up and my mother is at the end of my bed. Darling, I can't remember things. I think it's beginning. I, can't, I feel my language is breaking. I'm having difficulty with speech. I feel her laceration as she feels her promises to herself breached. Every day is a new day, but when every day is punctuated by the heavy, satiated belches of Iblis and Jahi, it's easy to forget the day of was mighty. They slam down their goblets and cackle out their bile in corpulent, corpulent gross droplets. Off their tongues grow spiny froglets and lace the airs of problems in great columns, sovereignly white suns, smacked as these guns. Cash rules everything around many, but this woman could never be ruled. I see her now, cal quiet, calculating, so easy to be fooled. The note she gathers with papier mache, three, three swift taps and ash gray settles in the ashtray. On an Excel spreadsheet, she marks the exponential decay of her spiritual bouquet. Art attack. Hidden in her chest is consternation. The tap is turned and a steady stream of abrasion turns to a trip. Her mother before her is a sound of void at the sink, tightening washes, so nobody puts up with the trip. Her own soul is leaking because from now on, the awake aren't even speaking. Silence is the virus masquerading shyness, a still tyrant imposing muted reliance. The drip is silence and empty words and dull rumbles that nobody feels, a convolution of hushed innocence, muted and wordless ideals. Glances become empty and a still laconic frenzy. For more information, please visit www.nhs.co.uk. And then 24 hours later, kind of in a similar situation, um, I found myself writing this. So, yeah. Alan Partridge Flapjack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.